directed now. But I think it was your call. If the Brazilian was a problem, the executive is a nation. Falei com o assessor agora, uh, haverá oportunidade para perguntas em português, porém as perguntas e respostas em inglês não, são, não serão interpretadas consecutivamente. Uh, there will be no consecutive interpretation from English into Portuguese, but there will be the opportunity to ask questions in Portuguese. Yeah, and then, so we'll start with questions from the English journalist first. Who would like to start? Use the microphone, sorry, Alex. Hi, Gareth. Just wondering what you made of the performance this evening. Um, <clears throat> I was pleased. Um, clearly, don't like losing football matches, but um, I thought there were lots of very good individual performances from players who've hardly played for England. Um, I thought our more regular players were very good. Um, you know, with... A, with 15 minutes ago, we're thinking, well, we've managed to see a lot of new players. We've had more than our share of the game. We've had as many um, attempts on goal as they have. Um, so the difference in the end was uh, was one moment, really. And um, that, that is the ruthlessness of football at this level. Gareth, just ask a question about the uh, the debutants, um, Anthony Gordon, and also uh, Konza and Maynard as well. How do you how did you feel sort of specifically with those guys? Yeah, well, I thought Anthony uh, very good. Um, both sides of his game looked very accomplished. Um, Esri to come in at the moment he did, and to deal with a player of that quality, um, I thought he was also excellent. Showed real composure and. Um, yeah, he should be really happy with his uh, his debut. We were really pleased with him. Um, Cobby was a chance to dip his toes. You know, we've brought him with us. Um, we, we needed to refresh some of the team because um, some we've, had, we've got to manage their minutes a little bit given recent weeks. So um, that's a strange situation when it's a game of that size, but that's, that's where we are. So to, to get Cobby on the pitch was also... Uh, clearly a brilliant moment for him and his family um, and you, you saw a couple of turns and a couple of really composed moments that uh, is, a, is a bit of an in indication of what he might become. I saw, can I, I, I quick ask a question about Harry Kane and whether you've decided whether if he's going to go back? Um, y yeah, he'll go back. Yeah, he won't, he won't be fit for uh, Tuesday. Sam? Sam Wallace here, sorry. Just felt like there were. I know you changed the defence a lot, but they, there were quite a few chances, even in the first half as well. I mean, when you say these games are so tight, you, that's possibly something that you, you can't afford against the top team. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I think you're dealing with exceptional quality, so um, there were a couple of moments. Um, Vinicius just got inside Kyle on the one that he uh, that he got injured on. Um, there were a couple of. Great quality passes, one twos uh, played in behind. But you're talking about players in that attacking third at the, at the very highest level of the game, and uh, you, you are going to have moments where your goalkeeper has to make a save, or uh, or your defenders have to pull off a, 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 an outstanding block, or whatever it might be. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought we also had those moments at the other end, um, and uh, I, I thought it was a really you know, really even game. If it had finished a draw, I think that would have been a completely fair result. I just quickly ask about Kyle Walker. Is it how bad is this? Yeah, we don't know. Um, he's not had many injuries, so he himself isn't sure whether it's just tightness or, um, you know, I suspect if he's feeling it, it's a little bit more than that, but we'll, we'll know a bit more over the ne next 24, 36 hours. OK, we'll take three more from the English, then we'll give the opportunity for the Brazilian leader. Hi, Gareth. Just wonder how you felt the midfield functioned tonight. Did you feel there was enough control tonight? I think they did really well. I mean, Connor's coming in off, uh, you know, a slightly different position, really having to play a bit deeper. Um, but um, we managed to play through the pressure well. Um, our back players, our goalkeeper did that well with the, uh, along with the midfield uh, I thought Declan was outstanding throughout the game um, you know, with and without the ball showed the next step that he has gone to, uh, I mean we, he's a crucial player for us anyway but um, 
he uh, he looked totally at home in that uh, in in that sort of environment. Um, so yeah, you know we we're, we're short of a few. We don't have a lot of midfield players that play in uh, as sixes in the league. Um, that's why we've put brought Cobby in and, and got Cobby on the pitch as well. Gareth, it's not often you don't score, especially playing here. Is it too simple to say that it was Harry Kane that was missing? Because obviously he does a lot more than just just put the ball away. Yeah, well, we're, we're playing a top team, so chances are going to be limited. Um, you know, perhaps we, we had the chances from set plays to, to capitalise on one of them that might, you know, often makes the difference in those tight games. Um, but look, I, I was really pleased with the players that went in. We need to find out about them. Uh, you know, we, we need to know where we might head if we didn't have Harry for a, a, a big match. Uh, it was I thought Oli did a good job. Um, didn't get that clear chance on goal that you might want as a as a forward. Um, but a lot of his work was very very good. And um, yeah, uh, uh, as I said, we, we we were clearly a couple that would normally start missing. But um, for us, it was a good experiment. Okay, last one in English from Simon Peach. <coughs> Down here. Um, on the, just returning to the injuries, what's the situation with Jordan Henderson and Cole Palmer? And then looking ahead to Belgium, what is the? What are you hoping to gain out of that match? What, are you, what do you want to see from that? Given it's your last until you name the squad, the last one before you name your squad. Yeah, uh, the two boys trained today, so they, they've come through that okay. So uh, they should join the group uh, that will train tomorrow, and we'll go from there with that. Um, yeah, Tuesday, Belgium have played a different 11 probably or, or close to so they're, they're going to be a bit fresher um, but similar to tonight you know we're, we're talking about a, a high level game brilliant experience for the players um, chance to see new players again um, build towards the summer um, as I said I, I, I'm not disappointed with the level of performance I know in the end when you lose the game um, then there will always be uh, a negative reaction to losing but um, I thought with 15 minutes to go given all the changes that had made I thought the crowd were really with the team they could see a lot of young players going in and doing well uh, a lot of very inexperienced players going in and doing well um, so I'm not I'm not down on the performance of the team at all okay we'll now take a few questions from our visitors from Brazil and these can be translated into Gareth English, here Carlos from Global, uh, there was many doubts even in Brazil about this team, it's a very young team and with players from domestic level. Uh, what are your impressions about this, this exhibition from Brazil and if it surprises you how mature they play with and without the ball? Yeah, I thought they played well. Uh, they have very dangerous forwards, good technical players in midfield. Um, our our pressure had to be excellent, and, and it was. You know, we turned uh, the possession over uh, a lot during the game. So, um, but you know that um, the concentration and the focus against forwards of that quality has to be perfect uh, to stop them having the chances. And uh, one moment where uh, a couple of small mistakes, and, and that decided the game. Uh, hi, Gary. Sorry, uh, wait for translation. Uh, sim. Realmente, é, muito impressionado com os jogadores. Eles representam muito perigo no ataque, uma qualidade técnica excelente no meio campo é, e temos que lidar com essa pressão. Mas a gente pressionou isso e fizemos um trabalho excelente. Recuperamos a bola é, várias vezes durante o jogo. Mas com jogadores dessa qualidade, você precisa de uma concentração, um foco, tem que ser uma atuação perfeita. Então, fizemos alguns erros é, e esses erros foram o Diferencial uh, no jogo. Hi, Gareth. Uh, Hendrik uh, has just become the youngest player ever to score for a club or country at Wembley, and he's the youngest Brazilian to score since Ronaldo in 1994. I know he didn't play, he didn't get much mi uh, many minutes, but how did you see him? Yeah, look, we, we know he's a dangerous player, um, and obviously he's managed to follow in uh, for the goal. Um, we, we should have defended the goal better than we did. So he's he's capitalised on that moment. It's a brilliant uh, a brilliant moment for him. Sim, 
sabemos que ele é, ele é um jogador muito perigoso. E, obviamente, ele aproveitou o rebote e conseguiu marcar o gol. Nós deveríamos ter é, defendido melhor. Ele aproveitou a oportunidade é, e é um momento brilhante para ele. Ok. Eu tenho que descobrir, né? Obrigado.